Hey groups, uh, my name is Matt Kuman. I'm the group pastor here. So excited to be joining you guys today. Um, I am loving this Advent season already. I think uh, the way the series is working through the stories of different people is going to be so exciting over the next few weeks. So I encourage you to stay engaged with that a- Advent calendar that have been handed out. Um, stay engaged with the teaching. Um, but let's dive right into questions in just a minute. Um, I think it's so important to remember that that even though we have so much going on in this world, and if we look into our story, um, sometimes we may not like the story that's going on in our lives, right? But when we attach our story to the story of Jesus Christ and understanding the huge story and what that does in our lives, um, we just need to remember those things as we go in. So um, let's dive right into group's questions. But before we go into the discussions, I'd love it if you spend some time talking about your ancestry as an icebreaker. Um, I know for mine, there was actually like two greats that was (laughs) the mother of Pearl. (laughs) Gosh. I held it as long as I could, and I'm like, he's definitely in frame at this point. Yeah, there's no, oh, we're we're rolling. Eric is just going to, can I at least have a cookie? Oh, perfect. Then I'll keep rolling. Oh, that was almost, I, (laughs) yeah, I don't think it was just that. All right. Well, if you're excited through whatever just happened there, um, as talk about your ancestries. We'll, we'll actually stop it because that was so long. <laughs> okay. Thought it was great. What's that? Here, keeping it. We're rocking and rolling. Okay, so uh, talk about your ancestry. Uh, I looked into mine a few years ago and actually found that there were a few greats um, right after they came over on the ship. Uh, there was a Reverend Kuman. I'm like, oh, that is so cool. I follow my great, great, great grandfather's grandfather's footsteps. Um, do you guys have any crazy ancestors, maybe some fun stories? Uh, share that with each other to get started this morning. All right, group, so our first discussion question, um, I hope you're able to read through the scripture passage first, um, because you will look at the genealogy that comes from this book um, of Matthew. So what is the difference? Why is Matthew's text so different, and why does it start so different than all the other texts that we see? Uh, Question number two, in Matthew's genealogy, I want you guys to talk about why, what what would the significance be in Matthew for starting off this way in the beginning of this book in particular? And uh, let's be honest, how many of you have just kind of skimmed over the genealogy and never even thought about reading it? Yep, I'm probably in that same boat. But, But think about that. Why is there significance to starting off in this way? Question number three, as you're looking through this list, are there any names that you recognize um, from stories that we have done in the past? Any, any names that are familiar to you? And what stories do you remember about them? All right, groups, question number four, name a few moments in history that you would call pivotal. Um, pivotal moments in history and explain why those moments were pivotal. And here's the last one that we'll end discussion with. Um, When you look back over your life, can you see where God has moved through your life? Um, Can you see his province at work? Um, And his province, if you haven't heard of that language before, it's this idea of divine care from God. It's the direction from God. Have you seen those things throughout your life in any aspect? And 
What do those look like? All right, groups, that is it for our discussion questions. If you guys have time and want to dig a little bit deeper, uh, the prompt for today is talking about the impact of Jesus Christ um, and how that has kind of rippled throughout history. So if you have time and want to explore some of those things, I would strongly encourage you to do that. But otherwise, um, don't worry about it. I hope you guys have a great time just having conversations with each other, enjoying this Christmas season together. Um, And I can't wait till we are are able to gather again. Have a great week, everyone.